Hello everyone and welcome to Power Pages Tips. My name is Nicholas Hayduk and this is tip number 244, Conditional Hide Show on Forms. In the last series of tips, I've talked about the markup that you'll see when you look at the forms in Power Pages using your browser's developer tools. Let's put that knowledge to use by looking at the JavaScript required to hide or show a field based on the value of a different field. Let's assume you have a form that contains a yes-no field represented by two radio buttons. If the user selects yes, a text field beside it on the form should be visible. If they select no, the text field should be hidden. We're going to use jQuery for this task. We're going to add our JavaScript to the custom JavaScript section of the form using the VS Code for Web functionality in the Power Pages Design Studio. To ensure the form is loaded, we're going to place our code within a document.ready block. Since we want our logic to trigger when the yes-no field changes, we'll need to handle the change event. Since our yes-no field is represented by two separate radio buttons, we'll use a jQuery selector where we use the ID of the column from Dataverse which will get us the wrapper for the radio buttons, followed by a space, and then input. This will add the change event handler to both of the radio button inputs. Within our event handler, let's set a variable that tells us whether yes or no is checked. To do that, let's first remember that the event handler is being called on the radio inputs, which means that this refers to the inputs. We also have to remember that when you click on one radio button, both will change. One will be the newly selected option, and one will be newly unselected. So our handler will fire twice. Rather than worrying about whether the event we're handling is for the select or unselect, let's just determine which one is selected. We'll do that by going back up to the boolean-radio class, which is the wrapper element, and finding the input in there that is checked. If it has a value of 1, we know they selected yes. Finally, let's use the ID to get the element that we want to hide or show. This will get us the input. But we want to hide the label as well. So once we have the input, let's use the closest function to find the element with a class of cell, and then hide all of its children. We do this because if we hide the cell itself, the form might be rearranged, and we don't want that in this case. Instead, we'll hide the label and control divs within the cell. We'll use a toggle function of jQuery, passing in the variable that is true if the text field should be shown, and false if it should be hidden. We'll finish it off by triggering the change event manually, so that the visibility of the field will be correct when the form loads. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found the Power Pages tip number 244 on conditional hide show on forms useful.